It wasn't too long ago that the MCU had a really big absence of female characters. Other than Black Widow, the next really big one was of course Scarlet Witch. And when it comes to the future of the MCU, the acquisition of Fox looming and various things that are going to more or less shake up everything we know about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, things are looking rather interesting. Of course, by now, I think most people know the story behind why female-led movies haven't happened in the MCU yet. Ever since Iron Man 2 and Disney acquiring Marvel Studios, they wanted to do a Black Widow movie. They wanted to use Wasp much earlier. They wanted to do Captain Marvel right around Age of Ultron and even include her in there. But Ike Perlmutter, who is the man that was in charge of the Marvel side of things, along with Kevin Feige, he wasn't having any of this. That's why there was always a lack of female representation in the MCU. Up until he, well, up and left, more or less, to go deal with some stuff over with the Trump cabinet, which is why Kevin Feige stepped in, talked directly to Bob Iger, and there's a divide between TV and, of course, the movie side. Well, Kevin Feige recently was asked specifically about the future of the MCU as it relates to female-led movies and the females that are going to be in it. And when Kevin Feige was directly asked what he thinks about the future of the MCU and the females that are going to be leading it, he said that more or less, soon enough, you're going to have more than half of the MCU is going to be females, if not more. And essentially, females are the future for many of these franchises. Now, of course, I think it's easy to see where he's coming from. Ant-Man and the Wasp, you could probably assume that they're going to move in another direction with her probably being in a rumored female team-up movie. There's a Black Widow movie. Captain Marvel is undoubtedly going to have a trilogy. You know, Captain Marvel is going to be the star of the MCU after Avengers 4. We already know that. So things are moving in a very different direction. And once you acquire the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, there's some powerful females all within themselves that you can have in there and explore who they are, such as Sue Storm and, of course, Jean Grey and various other X-Men. So I think more or less what he's saying is, guys, just brace yourself because Phase 1 through 3, those were heavy male-led franchises. But the future and the next decade, you're going to see a pretty substantial shift into how things are changing. And honestly... I'm ready and excited.